Hello, I'm Dr. Bhargavi Pawar. We'll have a small discussion on what the common symptoms of retinal problems are. Retina is the nerve within the eye and eventually this becomes the optic nerve or the nerve, which, nerve of sight which connects the eye to the brain. So if there is a retinal problem, first and foremost, who is who possibly could have a retinal problem? People with diabetes, people with high eye power or generally patients who are elderly, patients who have undergone surgery, post-operative patients, anybody could have a retinal problem. Some of the common symptoms that we face would be flashes of light. I'll explain what that is. Could be floaters or it could be distorted vision or decreased vision. So what is a flash of light or what are flashes? What are floaters? Flashes of light are symptoms in which one experiences a sudden flash as if there is lightning in the room or a camera flash has gone off and it's most common seen on the side of both the eyes. A single flash may be ignored but when these come frequently at regular occurrences repeatedly and are bothersome to the patient they certainly need a checkup. They could be a sign of what we call a peripheral retinal degeneration or a retinal detachment. The other symptom is floaters. What are floaters? Dark black spots that you see in your field of vision. Sometimes they could be small, innocuous or moving about and these could be what we call the natural or the physiological floaters which are not so harmful. But when they are larger and they block the field of vision, patient is not able to see beyond the floater. That is when it could indicate a more serious problem like a vitreous hemorrhage or a bleeding near the retina. Other symptoms could be distortion of vision where straight lines appear curvy or you develop missing areas in your field of vision. These floaters or these what we call scotomas are important to be are important that we don't ignore them and it's important to get a checkup done as soon as possible. So even if you experience symptoms like these, don't ignore them because more often than not they are painless and that's what causes patients to tend to ignore these symptoms. Get a retina checkup done at the earliest with your healthcare provider. You could possibly avoid or prevent an, a dangerous complication.